Hi, it's John from Hex Crypto, and this is a roundup of the Planet Watch AMA from the 10th of November 2021. So I just want to go through some of the key points from the AMA today, and we'll start off with the bumpy ride for our app quote from Claudio there. He did admit that it was a bit of a bumpy ride for the app and that they chose to release the app early and that's why it happened. It was either that or wait until January, so I think they made the right choice. And he's saying that November will be an extended testing period for the app and they'll continue to allow us to use the French address until otherwise stated. So I think that's quite nice. I think they've uh, made the right choice there. Okay, so next up he was talking about the fact that daily rewards are far from instant. So they're getting a lot of complaints saying that people are you know, not receiving their rewards on time. He's basically saying that you need to allow a few hours for the rewards to come through. Going through the blockchain does take time. And he did admit that there are some issues still with the aware elements. So they're gonna be doing an update in the next few days to try and get those rectified. So next up was a bit on the Aquino Type 1 sensor. So there's still manufacturer delays, and this is due to the availability of components. And batches are in quarters, so Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. And if you're in the same batch as someone else, you may not get your sensor at the same time as they themselves may only receive a batch of say 50 at any one time. So if there's 500 in a batch and they receive 50, then the first 50 people will get theirs and then the next batch will have the next 50 and so on. Next up was the Kytera Type 3 sensor update. Again, some additional delays here. This is due to the global chip shortage. Everyone knows that there's a global chip shortage, so it's not a surprise really. And he basically said, and quote, be patient if you want to be a part of Planet Watch. Next up, he did a talk on support tickets, and he's just begging people pretty much to think twice before you submit a ticket. There's some people out there, believe it or not, submitting five tickets for the exact same thing, and he said, this is not chat, you must use it correctly. And I completely agree with this, that must be incredibly frustrating. Some person was submitting tickets, you know, minutes between the last one that they'd sent and just basically asking the same thing, so it's, uh, Rather frustrating, I imagine, for the whole team there. He also said to use Discord if you want to submit any bugs or feedback, as that's a much better place to do it than raising a support ticket. So if you do submit a support ticket, just make sure you include as much information as you can, your license details and everything you possibly can to try and help them help you. And last but not least, there are two major announcements coming, which sounds quite exciting. So next week, there's going to be a big announcement regarding how much traction the project is getting. And that's probably going to come before next week's AMA, so possibly Monday or Tuesday next week. And the second announcement will be at Decipher in Miami, where Planet Watch will be presenting. So there's going to be some huge things that they're going to be talking about, which is quite exciting, really. I imagine it's about their company and expanding. And yeah, it's quite an exciting time, I think, to be a Planet Watcher. So I thought this was quite a good AMA by Claudio. He was straight to the point, didn't mess around. He uh, got out the frustrations in a polite manner, I would say. And yeah, he's also got some exciting news for us regarding those two announcements so i don't know what to expect from that let me know what you think these announcements might be down below in the comment section be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video